There we go. I'm used to clicking on the other scene because I'm always playing a game and sitting here and I have a game there and that's what it's usually set up on. Thank you so much Ryan Silver for subscribing for 23 months. He's like, have I really been around for almost two years? Apparently, thank you. I haven't seen you in a while, I hope you've been well. But yeah, I've been on Twitch now for over two years, which is freaking crazy. So, I'll explain why this is set up how it is. I'm gonna wait for a few more people to join. But yeah, we're gonna do something a little bit different today. We're doing some just chatting. I am standing up, I'm not sitting down. <laughs> because my game shelf is up here. Who do we have? We have Hexagrax. Vote yes for games, thank you. Ginger Dog, Dalton, Hey the Green Reflectors, James, Bessa, Black Coffee Drinker. <laughs> James says, ah yes, now I remember why I followed Erin. She was big into Castlevania. Yes, that, I, I do like my Castlevania. I stream Castlevania games a lot. Probably too often, but I gotta, I wanna play what I wanna play, you know? And I think most of you guys are into that. <laughs> Hey Ivan and Photon, thank you. And thank you Zaylin for subscribing for two months. Says, just wanted to drop my sub, I'm in the middle of online classes. Thank you so much and I hope your classes are going okay. Hey Cobra. Oh, hey Rick, welcome to the stream. Usually I play games, but every once in a while I do just chatting. Hey Hipster Boo. All right, so, story time. So the reason why you haven't seen me around for a few days is because I was going down the stairs and I tripped and I fell a few times on my tailbone and then I somehow ended up on the floor on my face. I don't know how I got to that point, but basically my tailbone is hurts really bad, my hip feels weird, so I can't sit normally, which means I haven't really been able to edit or stream or anything and I really didn't want to have to like tweet about this or anything. Cause you know, it's like a little, it's a little silly. It was a dumb accident, but shit happens. So I've just been laying on my side or walking or like standing and trying to be comfortable. So I think I can stand this whole time. <laughs> so that's why you haven't seen me. It's because it's like you sit for like everything I do. I have to sit. So anyway, but I'm okay. I'm just letting you guys know why we're doing this. So I might do another stream like this where I'm standing because I miss you guys. And this is what we have to do since I can't sit. I did. Did I get a donut to sit on? I got this. Because <laughs> I was desperate. I was like freaking out. It's like, it has a U. So your butt can go here and then your tailbone cannot put pressure. But it still hurts. Like if I sit on it, it still hurts. So I think I just, I don't know. I don't think I like did anything too bad. I think I just bruised my tailbone and shit sucks. It's not fun. Thank you, Lucas, not Luther, for subscribing. Yeah, and I was like, oh, this would have been a really good time to have a standing desk because I did get some editing done today, but it's like I'm sitting <laughs> on this figment pillow, like I'm kneeling on it with my knees, and then I switch between, like, so I switch between kneeling and then sitting in my chair, but like in a really weird way where I'm like kind of sitting on my leg and all my weight is on like my leg. It's really hard to explain. It's not fun. So getting anything done has been a nightmare. So that's why I haven't been around, but that's my reason. Thank you, uh, Fraser, for subscribing for a whole year now. He says, has Mike played a hat called Dracula's Revenge? I don't know. I don't know if he's played that one. He's played a lot of Castlevania hacks though, so he probably has. Yes, Mike's been very good to me. Well, I fell. <laughs> He's been helping me out. My chair's not destroyed, it's right here. I just can't sit on it, because my butt's broken. Because I fell. <laughs> Thanks, Hex. So yeah. I've never done a standing stream or a standing... I have done a video standing, but I've never done a stream standing. Thank you, vote, vote yes for games. He says, sorry you broke your ass. It's not, it's not fun. So now, it's like, see, this is what I think happened. I was wearing, I got some Beavis and Butthead socks from the men's section. And they're a little big. But I think, like... 
they were kind of coming off, and then I slipped on the carpet, and then I just tumbled. <laughs> Thank you, Indie Dev Guy, for subscribing for four months. Thank you so much. Uh, is my hair naturally that color? No, I wish it was, because then I wouldn't have to dye it. I'm naturally, like, dirty blonde, I guess I would describe it. I haven't seen my natural hair color in a very long time. I've had this color for, like, ten years now. <sighs> um... Thank you, Sloon. And thank you, Person. Um, where... Where do I get most of my games? Flea markets, eBay, Craigslist. Uh, thank you, B-Man. Well, I've gotten most of my games from conventions, local game stores, back when I lived in California, or, um, eBay. Those are my top three places. So, conventions, stores, and eBay. I've never really had any luck at flea markets or thrift stores. Like, the coolest thing I ever saw at a thrift store was, like, a bunch of sealed and television games, and I probably should have bought them, but that's pretty much the coolest thing I've seen. Like, I really don't come across stuff that often. Or if I do come across stuff at thrift stores, it's just, like, Wii Fit or, like, sports games from, like, the Xbox 360, so. Yes, they are, Jake. I need more posters up here. Yeah, see, you guys don't usually see this part. So I don't put posters, but since I had to stand up, I guess I should decorate more. <laughs> thank you, Hexagrax, for gifting a sub to Cinestubborn. Thank you. And thank you, Sco911, for subscribing for two months. Thank you. Try a thrift store in a nice part of town. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I've, I've been to thrift stores all over, and it's really rare that I see any games that are worth buying. But yeah, so what we're going to do, we're just going to go through, we're just going to start, I guess, I have all my NES games here, and then I have the boxed ones up there. But yeah, so we'll just start here and go down the list. And then we can, then I have Super Nintendo up here, which I don't think you can see, no, you can't see that. Um, oh, I have more NES up here. Then I have some boxed Super Nintendo games. Um, most, of, I have like... I don't know. And then up here, there's some Genesis. I have my backtrack stuff, and yeah. So I'm a little all over the place, but yeah. Is that bird drawing from Yoshi's Island? No, this is um. So this is Graveyard Duck. This is from when I streamed Castlevania: Simon's Quest. And there's a part where they go, oh, like find Graveyard Duck. And so, but it doesn't really mean find a Graveyard Duck. It means like go to the graveyard and duck, but anyway, I drew graveyard duck. <laughs> so that was like a joke with the chat. And I know this is an early stream for me. It's because my sleep schedule's off along with everything else right now, so that's why we're in the day. Oh yeah, somebody said they found a, a backtrack at a thrift store. See, that's awesome. I've never... <laughs> I've never seen anything that cool. Oh no, I didn't trim my hair. See, sometimes I wear hair extensions because I like how I look better with long hair, but my hair grows very slow. So, this is me without hair extensions. <laughs> Thank you, Savage Caius. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I look like Haley Williams in her early years. I haven't heard that in a while. Um, I used to get that. Like, people would just yell Paramore at me. Like, ten years ago, that's what would happen. Is Mike coming back to Serious Sam? I'm sure eventually. Graveyard Duck's mortal enemy is the Quacker. Who's the Quacker? I want to know this Quacker. Or maybe I don't. Oh, that's awesome! The green reflectors! Well, welcome to the stream. Am I hyped for Godzilla vs. Kong? I don't really... I, I'm not a super big Godzilla person. I saw the trailer, I'm like, it looks entertaining, I don't know. I'm not really the person to ask about it. How often do I stream? I stream pretty... I stream as often as I can. Um, because, like I said, I, I fell and kind of hurt myself, I haven't been able to stream. But, um, that much this week, but I try to stream, like, three to four times a week. Thank you, Hex, to gifting a sub to Cobra Kai Maddie. Thank you so much. Have I seen the McDonald's pop figures? I have. I don't really like Funko Pops, but I think those actually look pretty cute. 
Thank you. Oh my goodness. I cast show for subscribing for 22 months. Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much for the subs. That's cool, Zesty. You built a games database to track my collection? See, I don't have a document or anything. I just look and see what I have. Because I don't have, like, a giant collection. But, you know, if I'm, like... I don't really buy that many games lately, thanks to the EverDrive. Like, if I really like a game, then I will buy it, if I don't already have it. But, um, I really cut back on the buying of the games. But... It would be nice to have like a, oh, okay, I have this, like if I'm at a convention or at a store or something, you know. <sighs> hey, Jamie. I've never beaten McKids, no. That game kicks my ass. I forget how far I've gotten, but I've not beaten it. Am I going to play modern games at all? Uh, sometimes. Retro is usually where I'm at, but I do like Doom Eternal. I've played, like, Yoshi's Crafted World, because i got to play all the Yoshi games. Um, trying to think. I mean, some of the, like, retro modern stuff, like Curse of the Moon and stuff I've played. I do know that, actually, John the Great. That's weird. It's, I mean, it's fine. I don't know. I don't really know what to say about it. What are my rarest games that you trade? I don't trade. Um, my rarest games, I don't really have anything that rare. Like, I'm trying to think. My rarest games would probably be, like, one of my Vectrex games. I don't know. But anyway, speaking of that, let's get on with the, what we were gonna do today. And I'll, I'll still, you know, talk and everything. So, starting off, I'm gonna, I have these. Do I have these in alphabetical order? Oh, I kind of do. So I started up here, and then I worked my way down here. So I'm going to try to put them back where I found them in loose alphabetical order, but we'll see. Alright, so starting off, I got Blaster Master. I don't know. I've never got, I've never played this too much. It's been a very long time since I've played this game. Um, usually my the cartridges have like, you know, like a sticker or something on them for me to remember like where I bought this. I think I bought this at a local game store back in California. Not totally sure, but yes, I should actually play this because it's Blaster Master. This guy, oh no. Batman Return of the Joker. So I bought this on a whim, because I love Batman NES, like the first one, and I was really excited for this one, and I don't like it that much. And I bought it before, like, looking up footage of it or anything. So, I don't know. I mean, I keep saying I'll give it another chance, and then I do give it another chance, and I just, I don't love it. It's not LJN, it's Sunsoft. And I, Sunsoft's usually pretty good, but there's something about Return of the Joker. I know some people really like this game. I just, I don't know, I haven't been able to get into it, so I've never spent a super long time with it, but every time I try, I'm like, <sighs> Are those posters originals or reprints? Um, uh, which ones? Like, this is from Nintendo Power. This is a... Mike just randomly slapped this on my wall because he had an extra. I believe this might be a reprint. It feels like a reprint. This is real. This was, I don't know where we got it. It's for the Pac-Land Atari Lynx. I'm a bit of a poser. I've only played Pac-Land on TurboGrafx-16. Not the Lynx version, but I like the poster because I really like Pac-Land. So, um, yeah, what other posters do you guys see? I gotta see, like, what's on camera. Um, this was given to me... I hope he doesn't mind me saying, I know he was in here earlier, I don't know if he's still here. Watson Punk at Portland Retro Gaming, Gaming Expo like five years ago or something? Four years ago? No, four years ago. Something like that. And that's really cool. It's from Yoshi's Island. It's one of the bosses from Yoshi's Island. That is Castlevania 4. That is just on a foam board. I bought that at a convention. It's obviously a reprint. Same with Yoshi's Island. I also got that at a convention. And then this is an artist print from Yoshi's Island, because I'm a sucker for Yoshi's Island stuff. Because you don't... 
you don't see too much of the artwork. And I saw this and I freaked out. And that's just a map of Castlevania. So I got a lot of this stuff at conventions. The Atari Lynx was the first system you bought for yourself? That's cool, Zesty. I have yet to play a Lynx. I've never played it. Hey, Boxcar. I'm good. How are you? Do I have a PS5? I don't. I don't have a PS5, and I don't have the um, Xbox. What's it called? I always forget the name. I, I'm so out of... I don't know. I'll, I would like a PS5 eventually, but we'll, we'll just get one, like, when they become available. Like, I'm not going to spend a bunch of money for one on eBay. That's... Mm. What's the thing? on the white hook on the wall. That is Hello Kitty in a Kuropi out costume. <laughs> I don't know, but she lives there. I didn't know where to put her. And I guess it's on camera, so. Woo! So you guys can see her. Do they have a Hello Kitty N64? No, but they have a Hello Kitty Dreamcast, which Mike got me for my birthday this year. And I got the blue one, and I love it. Yeah, so... I don't know. The, like... I kind of- I always go back and forth between, like, if I want to redo my posters or not, because I have, like, a Batman... Super, uh, I mean, from Nintendo Power poster over there. And then I have, like, I have the skeleton over here, which you can't really see. But yeah. Pretty much, if you want cool gaming posters, go to conventions, because people sell cool stuff. Oh my goodness! My chair ran into Pac-Land. Yeah, and then over here, you can't really see it, but I have a Metal Storm poster. That came with the Retrobit, um, reissue of the NES game. I have a love-hate relationship with that game. And this is from the AVGN Deluxe Edition game. Set that up. And then off-camera I have, like, some Disneyland posters and stuff. Is the chair comfortable? I like it. Yeah, it's, it's more comfortable than I thought a gaming chair would be. I like it because it doesn't take up a lot of room. So. I have played Samurai Pizza Cats on the Famicom. Am I using tape? Yeah, I use tape, pretty much. <laughs> Just normal, like, that brown tape I pretty much use. Up next in the game collection, do you guys want me to go through, like, every NES game I have? I don't really know how to do this. We got Barbie on NES. I've streamed this before. It sucks, but it was, like, addicting, and I wanted to keep going. I don't know why. Something about these Barbie games, they they just draw me in. It's not good. <laughs> what do I play on Switch? I play mostly, like, the arcade games you can buy from the online store. They actually have a really good selection of arcade games. Um, like, everything from, like, uh, the Sega Ages stuff is good. Like, I really like, uh, the Sega Ages did, like, a uh, Shinobi, and that's good. And then you can even get like classic arcade stuff like Puyan and Moon Patrol. I don't I think I'm like one of the only people that really likes Moon Patrol. I fucking love that game. So I play like Moon Patrol on the Switch. <laughs> um yeah, I don't know. I've just been into playing arcade games on the Switch. Would I recommend this gaming chair? This is the only gaming chair I've ever had experience with, but I like it. Yeah, it's an E-Win. Do so I have a toaster? I don't. I believe James has, like, the only one. Maybe there's more, but I feel like that was, like, a custom thing from what I know. I didn't beat Barbie. I didn't beat NES Barbie, no. I don't think I did, did I? I don't remember. I don't think I did. It gets really tedious. Jamie loves Moon Patrol? Yay, I'm not alone in my love for Moon Patrol. An assumption about Aaron, she feels some type of worry about emulation. I don't care. Like, play games however you want to play. I personally like to use original hardware as much as possible. So if I have the cartridge, I'll use the cartridge. 
If I don't, I'll use the EverDrive cartridge in my real NES. That's how I prefer to play because I have a BVM monitor that makes everything look really pretty and I love it. But do what you gotta do. As long as you play the games, like, do what you gotta do. You swear I, I thought you beat the Barbie game? Maybe I did, I don't know. Do I like Street Sharks? I don't know anything about Street Sharks. Um, all I remember is that when I was a kid, Wendy's had a kid's meal with, like, Street Sharks toys, and I had, like, a blow-up bath toy that was, like, Street Sharks. <laughs> That's, like, all I know. Like, I know what they look like, I just, I never watched it. <sighs> How do you organize the NES cartridges? You just stack them on top of each other? Yeah, see, uh, they're just all stacked in, like... Very loose alphabetical order. It's basically like, here's some A's and B's, here's some B's and C's. Like, I need to actually make it alphabetical, but this is as close as it is right now. <laughs> Please tell me the purple-pink NES cart on the shelf is driving you nuts. Oh, this. But yeah, so I don't know. I think instead of going through every single game, I'll just show random stuff where you guys can ask me to see something. I don't know. So this I got at a convention. Which one is this? This is a homebrew hack. This is a hack. Peach and Daisy the Royal Games. So it's Mario Brothers and the only difference is you can play as Peach or Daisy. Oh, it's cool. Like when I was little, I would have been really excited about this. Because like I loved Princess Peach and she didn't have a lot of merchandise in the 90s at least that I knew about, but I was at Target, like, I don't know, last year, and they had, like, Princess Peach, they had, like, a blanket and, like, a pillow, and I'm like, I would have loved that when I was little, but yeah, so, it's just a hack. And then I have another one. I think I got these at Portland Retro Gaming Expo, like, four years ago, five years ago. This is, ugh. Ooh, maybe that'll work out. This one's, I like this one, too. This one's, like, blue. This one is Super Mario Bros. Unlimited. To be honest, I don't remember what this game's like. At all. <laughs> I probably haven't played it in like at least three years. I don't know. See, some of this stuff, I'm, I'm honest. I don't remember what's on it, but I pretty much, I only buy stuff that I want to play. Like, so, that's why I want to really call myself a collector. The only games I'm seeking to get every game I want to get every bub uh, bubble bubble puzzle bobble game, and I want to get every Sailor Moon game. But besides that, I'm like... What's playing in the background? I have an NES music playlist. I don't know what that last one was. Now it's Star Tropics. I'm sorry. Off the top of my head, because I, I wasn't paying attention, I don't know what the last one was. The Disney board game villainous? I've never heard of that, Magic Ninja. I'm sorry to hear that, Rick. I hope everything's okay. Do I have Who Framed Roger Rabbit? I don't. Mike does, though. He's genuinely... See, he, he thinks... He, like, he likes that game. He knows it's, it's not the best, but he likes it because he grew up with it. It's kind of like me and Barbie Supermodel and Super Nintendo. I know it sucks. But I like it, and I'm nostalgic for it because I grew up with it. Mike's good at that game. I tried that game, and I'm like, I can't. Like, I just, I hate it. <laughs> Do I have any Tengen? Uh, yes. Let me see if any pop out at me. Where are they? Oh, here we go. drop everything. Right now, I know I have more, but anyway, here's Clax. It still has a sticker on it. <laughs> I really like Clax. It's funny because this is one of the games I remember seeing specifically. I remember this, and I really remember Zoop. Like, when you would go to KB Toys, like, right behind the register, they'd have games. I vividly remember Zoop, and I always liked the cover, but I never had it because I didn't know what it was. So I didn't play Zoop until, like, a few years ago. I freaking love Zoop. 
Same with Clax. I like the cover, I like the name, I didn't know what it was. I like it. I like my, like, weird game. I don't know. Oh, is this another one? And up here we have Tubin. I love Tubin. Unironically love Tubin. Do you like Tubin, Elmo? Oh I, my I, god. I like Tubin too. I got a question. Can, can I borrow this $20 bill? What are you gonna do with it? I don't wanna tell you. Can I take it? I just take it from your wallet. I didn't even know I had $20. You got that from my wallet? Yeah. Don't be going in my wallet, Elmo. Mine now. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. Just. I can't. If it gets him out of the house, he can take the twenty dollars. Oh my god! I don't. I don't know what to do with him. But anyway, Tubin. I like Tubin. It's good. How do I follow that up? Anyway, back to Tubin on NES. Welcome to Aaron plays on Twitch. Hey, Gots Crab. I'm good. How are you? How big is your room? I don't know. It's like smallish, but it's a decent enough space for me to do what I want to do. Tony Uncle L likes Tubin. Yeah, I saw him streaming the arcade version and I was like, ooh, that's a good idea. I've never played the arcade version, I don't think, so I'm like, that would be fun. Yeah, Graveyard Duck is still here. Samurai Pizza Cats. Uh, where's my Famicom? I think these are Famicom. Ooh. I I somewhat recently rearranged something. Okay, that's not Famicom. Ugh. Here's Wally. <laughs> I want him at California Adventure. Here we go. Oh, right on top. So I have the Famicom cartridge for um, Samurai Pizza Cats because I was so excited when I learned about this game because I liked this show. I remember growing up, it would be on UPN after Sailor Moon and I would never get to finish the Samurai Pizza Cats episode because I'd have to go to school. But this exists. The thing is, I couldn't figure it out because it's in Japanese. So I need to play like an English translated ROM of it because I couldn't figure it out. Yeah, it was only released on Famicom, but you can find an English version. There's like repros I've seen of like NES carts. Was that $20 bill even real? Probably not. I don't know. No one Elmo. You, you can never be sure. Yes, UPN 13. Had Erin been wearing her Hack the Movie pants, they would have totally absorbed the blow. Yeah, so see when I fell, if I was wearing the Hack the Movies leggings, I probably would have bounced right back up and not broke my ass. It would have been great. So just joining, I'm streaming standing up because I fell and I can't sit normally because I hurt myself because I'm clumsy. <laughs> so we're doing shit like this. Exactly. See, I didn't think I had any cash in my wallet, so I don't know where Elmo found that money. I'm not going to ask questions. As, as long as he's gone, like whatever, he can take $20. I'm good, Phantom. How are you? Oh my god, that sucks, alien fetus. Yeah, sleeping sucks too. So, yeah, I was like, because, okay, so, if you're, because I'm in just, ugh, I'm in the just chatting category right now, I'm not usually in this category, but sometimes I am, I usually, you know, stream video games. So, if I have to edit a video or stream, I'm always sitting down. Well, if you hurt your tailbone and your hip, you can't really sit. So, I've been laying on my side. And then I read, if you put a pillow between your knees, that helps, so I did that. Or I'm, like, sitting, like, on one leg and kind of putting all my body weight on one side of my body. Or I'm kneeling on my knees on a pillow trying to edit, because I need to get shit done, but, like, 
I can't fucking sit. So it sucks. It's no joke. Everything hurts, yeah. Thank you, Jose. Yes, and I've been icing my back and all that. Maria Serta smashed her tailbone filming an episode of The Next Generation. Oh my god, that's awful. That sucks. Oh, that sucks, Photon. Thanks, Lothos. How much is a standing desk? I don't know, but a standing desk is sounding pretty awesome right now. Mike says I tried to do my own stunt. Yeah. That, see, that's a cooler story. I should have lied and said, yeah, I was filming something. I'm trying to do my own stunt. I was just walking downstairs and fell. <laughs> Thank you, Film of Wander. Have I played Fantasy Zone on NES? I have. I cannot get into Fantasy Zone. I just, I can't. I think I own it. Because I really wanted to like it. Well, I own Stinger. And it's like, it's so cute. I love how it looks. I love the sprite. I like the world. But I just don't find the gameplay fun. Um, I wish I liked it, but I just, I don't. Oh, that sucks, games and movies. Power Pad 2, The Revenge. Do I own Karate Champ? I don't. Do I have Auro Monsters for Super Nintendo? Did I ever buy that? I don't really like that game, but I feel like I might have bought it because I felt like I needed it. I don't think I have that one. My, uh... Super Nintendo collection is smaller than my NES collection. I don't have Auro Monsters, no. I actually... I thought I had... I thought I had Rocco, too, but I guess I don't. Huh. Yeah, I guess I don't. But, uh, I do have Hey Arnold. Ooh. I have Hey Arnold on Game Boy Advance! <laughs> I, I don't know. Rocco, I really wish I liked because I love that cartoon and I would rent it as a kid and I could just never figure out what to do as a kid. I don't know. I really want to like actually learn what to do because I can't figure out. Mike had a- he didn't like it. He couldn't figure it out. <laughs> Hey, Retro Morgan. Do you hum certain NES music sometimes in your everyday travels? Yes. I was humming... So I paused because there was something I was humming earlier and I don't remember what it was. But yes. I'm trying to think what it was. There was something. Can I get Mike to do DDR Live? I, I don't think so. I know Ryan is big into DDR, but Mike, I don't think so. I used to like DDR in high school a lot. Do I have any classics you feel like playing? Punch Out or Tetris? Tetris, I'm a, like, I love Tetris 99. I've always liked Tetris. I didn't play Game Boy Tetris a lot growing up. Pizza Roll 666 is currently dipping pizza rolls, dipped in, he's dipping them into queso. That sounds really good. I'm not judging. I'm good, Andy. How are you? That's cool, 40 ounce. But yeah, I'm trying to think of anything else. Hmm. I'm looking at my games right now, see if there's anything worth, like, pulling out and showing you guys. That sounded bad. Um... I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you want to see. Um. Is 
So this I got somewhat re recently. It's a it's an English translation of Sailor Moon, another story on a Super Nintendo cartridge. Obviously, this is a repro because it's pink. And I was so excited, and I got like an hour into the game, I streamed it, and then it just stopped working. I was super sad. So I need to find like an English ROM of it because I was really into this game and I want to finish it. But I can't. So I need to get that. Normally, I don't like to buy repro carts, but in that case, I just wanted like, I just thought it was cute, and I'm like, yeah, I want it. <laughs> I don't own a PS Vita. Do I ever do any drunk gaming? Um, not on stream. <laughs> Where's the Aaron Plays cart? Oh yeah, I have that. I can get that. So, um... John Riggs, who has a YouTube channel, really nice guy with a good YouTube channel. He gave this to me at, was it Too Many Games or SoCal Ga no, SoCal Gaming Expo in 2019. And it's an Aaron Plays game. It's a hack of a Famicom game, and I always forget what the name is. But basically I have to find bowls of cereal. And I love it. So I have it like on a stand, because I like freaked out that somebody would actually make me a game. So that was really nice of him, but yeah. Yep, Hello Kitty in a Kuropi outfit is hanging back there. <laughs> Please get a working Sailor Moon Another Story. I've never seen you that happy on stream, really? I mean, yeah, it was really fun. I definitely do want to play it. I'll just, I'll, I'll put the ROM on, like, a Super Nintendo Everdrive or something, but I do want to play it. And then I saw the Hungry Girl, I was streaming it, and I was like, oh, I'm so jealous, I need to play that. Do I have Target Renegade? I don't. I actually, I'm not familiar with that one. Um, my, I have dogs, but they're with my parents, um, back in California, and Mike and I have a cat. Yes, yeah, so now we're listening to Mario 2 music. Clip you showing your oh you oh, okay thank you games. Is it saying Elgato? It shouldn't be saying that because I'm not using my capture card right now. Anyway, what else can I show you guys? Um, oh. Astyanax, Astyanax, whatever. So apparently the arcade version looks a little more playable and forgiving. I had such a hard time with this game. I kind of liked it at first. It's like kind of clunky, but I don't hate it. And then I just got fed up and stopped. But I had to buy it because at the time I was like really into it. And I'm like, oh, I want to own this. And it was only like, I don't know, I think it was less than $10. So like I wanted it, but this game kicks my ass. And then, for some god-awful reason, I have Dragon's Lair on NES. No, somebody was giving me shit, they were like, about, uh, Don Bluth, that I was shitting on Don Bluth. No, 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 Don Bluth, I believe he used to work for Disney, and then he started his own, uh, studio with Fox, I believe, or Universal something, I don't know, something like that. He did, he did, like, movies in the 90s that rivaled Disney stuff, like... I believe Anastasia. Didn't he do Swan Princess? He did used to work for Disney? Okay, yeah. So it's like, I'm not, no, no. Don Bluth is fine. But Dragon's Lair, you really think that's a good game? I mean, whatever. If people have different opinions, that's fine. But it's like, come on. People are putting words in my mouth. <laughs> hey, Proto Shield. What's the worst game for NES you have? That's a hard question. I mean, I do have some shitty ones. Fuck Dragon's Lair. What's up? Fuck Dragon's Lair. See? He says fuck Dragon's Lair. 
Now that guy's gonna want to... You know what? The animation's fucking beautiful, though. It is, but the game sucks. You should show me this. Ooh. So Mike brought me something to show. He would get on camera, but, like, it's pointed down so you wouldn't see his head. Because he's taller than me. This is a Ninja Gaiden vinyl. See? There's Mike. <laughs> Isn't this framed really well? Uh -huh. Let me open this. I don't know if I've actually looked at this. So I have like the Dracula's Curse one and Gradius 3. Am I saying Dragon Slayer or Dragon's Lair? It's Dragon's Lair, but sometimes I slur my words because I can't freaking talk and I might sound like I'm saying Dragon Slayer. Anyway. So let's look at this. I need to put this somewhere. Dragon Slayer on Sega CD is beautiful. Yeah, like, it's cool. Like, the arcade game's like a cool looking thing. But the gameplay, I don't like. Anyway, Ninja Gaiden Vinyl. Look at this. Look how epic that is. It's beautiful. For, I think it was for his birthday, I got my Snake Rattle and Roll on vinyl, and that has some really cool artwork in it. But yeah, um, I really like getting the soundtracks on vinyl of, like, games I really like. Like, I have, like, uh, Gradius 3 and Dracula's Curse, and I feel like I have one more. Mike has more than me. And then there's also another one. If I can get it out. And then there's this one. Oh, it's just cool. It's like a special, extra little physical thing to have, you know, if you really like something. If you really like a game. I think somebody was saying Rondo of Blood is also on vinyl. I don't know if all of the Castlevania games are or not. I haven't looked into it, but I would like Rondo of Blood. And Bloodlines. And Simon's Quest. I'd like all of them, actually. <laughs> and then this is, this one's interesting. I think I also got this one for me. This is a Life Force, but look at the artwork on the front. Is that gnarly? And then the back looks more like classic Life Force. So yeah, that's cool. Castlevania 1, 2, and 3, Rondo of Blood, and Symphony of the Night are on vinyl. Oh, okay. Bloodlines isn't, though. How come Bloodlines always gets left behind? Makes me sad. But, okay. So I would definitely want Castlevania 2 on vinyl and Rondo of Blood. Symphony of the Night does have good music, but I like, I don't know, I'd want Rondo of Blood. I think it's cool you said gnarly. <laughs> Some people give me shit for, like, how I speak, but it's like, I don't know, I, I'm from Southern California, I talk how I talk. Like, whatever. I, t I talk like a valley girl, I don't, it's whatever. <laughs> I am what I am, man. Bloodlines is a Genesis bastard. <laughs> it's so good! It's one of my favorite Castlevania games, it's in my top three, I think. Yeah, I'd put it in my top three. You couldn't tell I'm from Texas until I bust out with y'all. <laughs> At least I don't have vocal fry. I didn't know what vocal fry was until I got like a shitty comment on YouTube when I first, like, pretty early on in my channel. And so I looked it up, I'm like, what's vocal fry? And I'm like, I don't think I have vocal fry. But, whatever. Oh, hey Tiger Golf. Welcome to the stream. I'm glad you finally caught one. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you, Jadred, for gifting a sub to Carter Retro. Thank you so much, Jadred. What's my favorite slang term to use? I don't know. I've never really thought about that. I can tell you one I started using as a joke and then I started saying it. If Jose's still in here, he'll know. Like, as a joke, we kind of say, like, oh, that's lit. And then, like, we both just started saying it, like, 
not to be funny, but like it, we just started saying it. Yeah. <laughs> And then, for a while, I was like, oh, that's lit. I'm like, I'm saying lit so much. I was like, I need to stop. Oh my god. Like, never start saying something as a joke, because you will start actually saying it. And it sucks. <laughs> like, oh, that's lit. I remember one time I was, at, I was at some store, and there was, like, these group of, like, 14-year-olds. And they found some hot, some hat, and they're like, oh, that's pretty lit. And that was when I knew. I'm like, I need to stop saying it. I'm too old. <laughs> how often does Mike and I play how uh, how often do does Mike play video games with me? Um I don't know. Like whenever we feel like it. We were playing like sometimes we play Tetris 99 together or just random games, I don't know. Every day, pretty often. Not necessarily every day, but pretty often. Do I drink Wawa coffee too? I do! Now that I live on the East Coast, I do. It's really good. I like it better than Starbucks, because Starbucks I like, but I, I can't get the normal coffee because I personally think it tastes like shit. But Wawa coffee I like. <laughs> now Jose saying brah. <laughs> have, I, have I adopted to the cold weather? I like it, but then when I'm like outside in it, I don't like it. It's like the I, I like the idea of it, but then if I'm like if it's windy, I'm like it hurts my skin. <laughs> Aaron, do drink Starbucks coffee? I like I like uh, their hazelnut lattes. Like I like stuff like that, but if I just were just to get a normal coffee, I couldn't drink it. Like I don't know what it is. It's just. I don't know. I can't. It's, I, I can't. Does the cold weather help my allergies? It does. Like, I still have allergies, but cold weather definitely helps. Oh no, I'm not from Texas. I was uh, reading somebody in the chat that they were saying. I'm from Southern California. Yeah, so... Speaking of, what else? What was I gonna show? I was gonna show you guys something. And then Mike came out with the vinyl. What the hell was I gonna show? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, somebody mentioned Fantasy Zone. I do have it on, um, I don't even remember. This is, yeah, it's Fantasy Zone The Maze. So, I have it on Master System. Because, again, I just really wanted to like the Fantasy Zone games. This one I played the least. I should probably actually give this one another chance. Looking at the back, I'm like, oh, maybe I should give this one another chance. Because I, I don't even remember how this one was, because it's been so long. But regular Fantasy Zone games, I just, I can't get into the gameplay. I think they're really cute looking. But I can't get into the gameplay. And for another Sailor Moon repro, I have, like, a Genesis. Because it was never, technically, I believe this is Sailor Moon R. Or no, this was just the first Sailor Moon game. Um, this was never released on Genesis. It was released on Master System in Europe. I think it was in Europe, but for sure, for sure Japan. But I bought this because there's a case, but also, look how cute that is. It's like a hot pink cartridge. It's like a good pink. Like, I think this pink is too pale. It's not cute enough. This is like bubblegum, perfect pink. This is like, it's good. So I had to buy this. What do I do on the East Coast that's not here in LA? I don't know. I'm pretty, I'm a, I'm a homebody. I like to stay home. That's why I like to stream. I don't know, I can't think of a good answer. I guess go to Wawa. And what else do they have out here that I don't? I don't know. I don't have an interesting answer, I'm sorry. Well, What song is this playing? Well, now it's on Super Mario 3. I assume you were asking before this one, and I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry. Have I played Flicky? I did. I played that on one of my last Sega Genesis variety streams. I didn't realize how addicting that game was. I want to do a full stream of Flicky because I really like it. It's hard. Yeah, it seems like it would get hard. Um, I know Mike got pretty far when he played it. Um, but yeah, I played it briefly. 
Do I like coffee or tea more? I like coffee more. You should buy a bubblegum case to go with it. Do they exist? Maybe. I've never really seen any, um, colorful cases for Genesis games. It's only cartridges, but that'd be interesting. Have I played Celeste? No. I know a lot of people like it. I just, I haven't tried it. Uh, no, I didn't, indie dev, guy, indie, indie dev guy, in the late 90s, you would play video game soundtracks? Yeah, that sounds cool, but no. This stream is lit. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, games and movies. I'll have to look that up. What is Rubsy the Owl's origin story? I don't know who that is. Rubsy the Owl? Do I have Final Fantasy VII on PlayStation? No, my PlayStation collection is very small. I didn't really grow up playing a lot of PlayStation, so it's like I'm still playing catch up with PlayStation stuff. But yeah, so, I don't know, I'm trying to see if I have any other repros. Oh, yeah, 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 So this is a silly one. This is a hack of, I think it's Mega Man 2, but it's My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. So it's Mega Man, but with ponies. So how could you go wrong? Then, I think... How many others? Uh, well, here's some random Famicom stuff. I'm kind of all over the place in this stream because I don't really know what to do. Donald Land on Famicom. This was Famicom only, but it's pretty common to see NES, um, what's it called? Repros of the game. It's a cute little platformer. I did a video on it a few years ago. It's fun. You play as Ronald McDonald, and it's really cute. What's the most difficult game you've completed? Castlevania Chronicles. Um, that's where there's like two different versions. I played the, I played the one that people say is like a little more accessible, but that still kicked my ass. It took me forever. I died so many times, but I eventually did it. Castlevania Chronicles is definitely the hardest game I ever completed. You invented Rubsy the Owl, one of my Genesis variety streams? I don't remember that at all. I can think of Woodsy the Owl, you know, the recycling owl. <laughs> Did I ever get into Tomb Raider? I didn't. I kind of want to see, like, when I was a kid, I saw, like, the uh, movies. But, again, because I wasn't a PlayStation person, I, I just never played the games. But now, as an adult, I'm like, oh. Like, I saw some people playing the, um, the one that came out, like, ten years ago, and that one looked kind of interesting. Power pad. They should make a power pad for PlayStation 5. They should. How's my Wednesday? It's going okay. How are you, Whirly Derby? What do I think is better, Pokemon Sword or Shield? I haven't played either one. I'm a very casual Pokemon fan. I played Let's Go Eevee, and I enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. I played, you know, Pokemon uh, Yellow and Blue when I was a kid. Besides that, it's like Pokemon Snap I like, but like I'm very casual. So I, I haven't played those. I almost bought one of them though. I forget which one. I forget. There was a reason I wanted one over the other, but I don't I, I don't remember. <laughs> They're doing a Tomb Raider anime series, that's interesting. I have not, I am Crocs. I'm very I'm very behind on new stuff. <laughs> Like, I, I mostly play retro, so. Hey, DV, I'm good. How are you? Oh, yeah, and there's a new Pokemon Snap coming out. So that's a new game I'll be playing. 
Um, I do want to um, stream Doom Eternal eventually. I'd probably have to start over because it's been so long since I've played it. I never got too far in it. I'm not good at it, but I like it. So I would want to stream that. Because, <laughs> like, whatever, it's fun. Oh, yeah. And the new Pokemon Snap, that comes out soon, right? Like, April? Why am I standing up today? Okay, well, if you're just joining, I've been gone for a few days because I took a tumble. I fell down some stairs, and I really hurt my tailbone and, like, my hip area. So I haven't really been able to sit normally. So I haven't really been able to edit or, you know, stream video games. So this is what we're doing today because I can't sit. Oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, I was doing stunts for a movie. <laughs> that sounds way cooler, I forgot. Thank you, black coffee drinker. <laughs> yeah, so that sucks. It hurts. But standing doesn't hurt right now. Knock on wood. So that's what I'm doing. Sorry, that was probably really loud. Movie star Aaron. <laughs> yeah, butthurt. Yes. It sucks. I was like, wow, I hope this won't last too long because I don't have to, like, tweet about it and tell people that I, like, broke my ass falling downstairs. <laughs> but here we are, because life happens, right? Right. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so, I might have to do more than one of these awkward standing streams because I gotta do what I gotta do. The show must go on. Uh, what else is cool? Or what else I think is cool? Oh my god. Okay, so this game... I briefly played this on an EverDrive. It's... You would think it sucks. It's based on the awful Little Mermaid 2... It's like the sequel to Little Mermaid. This was like direct to VHS. Sucked. Pinball Frenzy. It's actually a good game. And I got this pretty good deal on eBay. It's sealed. I haven't opened it yet, but it's a decent pinball game. So if you like pinball games, seriously, you should check it out because it's fun. It's good. Just forget about the fact it's based on Little Mermaid 2. And then what's cool, I have Sailor Moon on Saturn. This is one of the only Saturn games I have. It's really trippy. It, you know, it's like a fighting game. Most of them, 99% of them are like beat-em-ups, like side-scrolling beat-em-ups or fighting games. This is one of the fighting games. I, um, I forgot what it's called. The Sailor Moon Super S. Various, oh, it is Various Emotion. But yeah, it's just like 3D Sailor Moon. It, like, it looks like the Super Famicom game, but just different graphics. I don't know. I should stream this. I should make Mike play it with me. And he can be Sailor Mercury, his favorite. <laughs> Did I show the NES games already? I didn't. I'm kind of going all over the place with what I'm showing. Do I have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on NES? I think I do. Yeah, I'm, I've been playing it here and there. I do like that game, but do I own it? I don't think I own that one. Or wait. I don't own it, so when I play it, I guess I, I steal Mike's copy. I don't, I don't have it, no. But I like that game. Ever tried playing Standing Up? I can't do it. I thought about it, and I know some people can. I don't know, I'll try it again, but I... I just feel awkward because then I have to look, like, down a lot. I don't know. Certain things I could play standing up. Maybe, like, a Switch game with motion controls. We could play 1-2 Switch. <laughs> oh, I do have it? Okay, so I do own TMNT. I just, I don't know where it is. Some stuff gets misplaced because I'm messy. I wish I wasn't so messy, but I am messy. Or it could be right in front of my face. And I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't know. But yeah, good game. <laughs> hey, no fear, boogeyman. Oh yeah, so Mike might have borrowed it from me. Who knows? 
You managed to lose misplace your Genesis. Oh no, I hope you find it, BK. Thanks, Fraser. Oh, have I tried Disney Dancing Museum on 64 yet? No, but it's funny you brought that up, Savage Kais, because um, we were, I was actually talking about that, like, the day before I, like, hurt myself. I was thinking about doing that. Mine is in the box. This oh, is this is mine! So I did own it. I thought I did. Thank you, Mike. Sorry. It's okay. So he has the box version. I have the single version, which is fine. I usually don't... I don't have a lot of box games. Like, my boxed... Games are very random. I do have Bible Buffet though in the box. Because I, no joke, I freaking love Bible Buffet so much. And over the years, I finally got the whole thing. I got the manual. I got, I think I even got the little, um, the quiz book because the quiz book is separate from the manual there's like so much crap you have to keep track of it's ridiculous but I do enjoy this game because I'm insane look at the hideous artwork it's great yes Mike is very helpful see I bring him coffee during his streams he brings me like games I need it's a good it's a good trade-off we work well together. So yeah, so here's the instruction manual, but then in here there's a separate quiz book because it's awful. <laughs> the power couple of retro gaming. Well, thank you. I don't know about that, but thank you. Oh, oh yeah, there's the snake rattle. Erin got this for me. I did. Let me put this back because I don't want to like... So it's mine, but she got it for me. I can't... Here. I'll put it you can do... We'll trade. Snake, this is what I was talking about. The snake rattle and roll vinyl. Whoops. So look at this. Look how cool that is. It's like an epic map. Don't you think that was cool when you opened it? That's the mountain of the game, and, the and it goes up. See, I haven't played a lot of this one because it intimidates me. I tried it out, and I was it, like, nope. It should. It's probably, like, maybe the hardest NES game I'd be. Like, Marble Madness doesn't make me as frightened. No. It's a totally different level. <laughs> Marble, Mas oh, yeah. Marble Madness is tough, but that's like... No. Oh, did you show... Okay. The, did you what? Show... Oh, yeah. Yeah, so the actual... So the actual record itself is really cool looking. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> Side B! I like it. I think it's cool. It's like, I'm so glad you like it. I love that. I saw it and I'm like, I need to get That's this. That's my favorite like. one. <laughs> the, light bar, the Light Force one, like, this is a weird... It's like too modern. Cover. It's like cool, but know. it's, yeah, it's weird. Snake rattle roll though, it's like pretty cool. Mike, for the love of God, are you coming back to Serious Sam? Uh probably someday. Someday. Probably. probably. There's your answer. I, I love it, so I'm sure I will eventually. There you go. <laughs> do we play the vinyl or do we col just collect them? No, we play them. We have like a little um, crate of records by our record player mixed in with other stuff, <laughs> like other types of music. I have I have a lot. Not a lot, but a decent amount. I'm I'm the music person in the relationship. And now Batman's playing. Thank you, games and movies. Yes, yes. Subscribe to Tony on OnlyFans. The best OnlyFans out there. Cannibal Corpse. I don't have Cannibal Corpse on um, vinyl. I'm sorry. What do I have? I have, like, I don't know. I don't have a lot. I just have random, like, records that I liked forever. Like, I have from Weezer, I have Pinkerton and Blue. I have some Strokes. I have, like, some Jimmy Eat World. I don't know. Some Lana Del Rey. 
some Britney. Got a little bit of everything. Can I expect the same high level of maturity here? It depends. The stream is a little more tame, but sometimes we get a little um, more silly at night. See, this is earlier in the day, flux, flux capacitor. <laughs> What genre of music do you like? I don't know. I like uh, a little bit of everything. I like I like some pop. I like some like I like some grunge. I like some like alternative '90s stuff. Oh, what's this? Oh, more things. I don't need to show too much. It's okay. So here's some more stuff from my collection that I keep in a different room. So this was a random purchase. It's a GameCube keyboard controller. This was mostly used for Fantasy Star Online. But just check this out. Imagine playing a game with this. Like the controller. It's insane. So I bought this one day. Because I'm crazy. This is like from four or five years ago. It's fucking out of control. It's probably the craziest thing I have. Um, so this is cool. I saw this at, actually I got this from Too Many Games. I saw this and I was like, I need this. So this is Dracula, just called Dracula. It's a little tabletop arcade. I'll take this out of the box. I don't have batteries in it right now, so I can't turn it on, but it's like, it's just really cool. This is more of a thing I bought just because it's like a cool collector's item. I don't always, I don't usually do that, but this was an exception. I just, I like the red. It's just sexy. It's good. Hey, Adam. You watched a video about absurd game accessories not too long ago it's featured on it. That's why I bought it, because I was like, oh, I want to do a video about weird gaming accessories, and then I still haven't done that. But, one day. And what else did Mike bring me? Okay, my Olympian 2600. So I really like Pong consoles. Like, I know that's unpopular, but that's what I like. And there's probably going to be more Pong console videos in the near future because I got some others, but I don't want to show them yet. But this is the Olympian 2600. I don't want to take this one in the box because it's like the foam for this one. It's so tight. It's so hard to get back in the box. I'm sorry. I'm just being honest. I don't want to deal with that right now. But like, I don't know. It's just good looking. Silver. Pretty. I have so many, I forget which one is which. I know that's bad. So this one has... So this one has tennis, hockey, squash, practice, soccer, baskets, hoops. So baskets and hoops are different. Grid ball, shoot, and shooting. It's good. I really like the Sears Telegames ones. Like the one I have up here. Well, I have the Atari version. But I like the one that's like pinball and breakaway. I did a video on that one. That's probably one of my favorite ones. It's just like really fun to play. Sergio says, I received an email from Twitch and you are the number one of the top three of the Twitch channels I watched last year, 80 hours since March. Oh my goodness, that's awesome, Sergio. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah, I do have a lot of Pong consoles. It's like, sometimes I feel stupid about it. <laughs> Because, you know, it's like they're kind of hard to set up. Not hard, but it's like, it's a little extra because it's a little RF and stuff. And you never know if they're going to work or not because a lot of them are like really old. I mean, they all are really old, but you know what I mean. And I don't know. There's just something about them, though. It's like they're just so simple but fun. And I just, in a more shallow way, I just like the aesthetic of it also. I don't know. I like my Pong console. So I have a decent Pong console collection. It got out of hand oh, since, like, it started out not too bad, but then around 2019, it, I got a little crazy, and I just kept buying some. 
<laughs> Thank you, Phidias McCormick, for subscribing for 19 months. Hey, Aaron and Chat, gotta head to work. Well, I hope you have a really good day at work, and thank you so much for stopping by and for subscribing for so long. Thank you. Yeah, Journey to Silius has good music. Um, I've never gotten too far in it. I've never, like, really given it time. You know what I mean? I should. It kicks my ass, that game. Thank you, Savage, for linking that. Thank you, Hex. Well, thank you, New Wave Junkie. Yeah, I, I try to also do New Wave, I mean, New Wave streams. <laughs> um, daytime streams. There you go. My brain went blank for a minute. Let's start over. I try to always do some daytime streams, but obviously that doesn't usually happen. 99% of the time, I'm a nighttime streamer because I'm usually more alive at night. But this is working out. This is good. This is good. It's your birthday. Happy birthday, Integra004. I hope you're having a really good day. What will be my stream? Oh, you're talking Mike. Was Aaron rated? No. How many people are here? Oh my goodness, 315. Damn. Well, thank you guys. Usually I don't get that many, so thank you. <laughs> Where's Jose? He's there. He just put some Bulbasaurs in the chat. Speaking of Bulbasaurs in the chat, I want to switch out some emotes. And then if I, if I apply to partner, and if they accept me, then we'll get more emotes. But for now, I'll have to switch some out. So, I might switch out wall meat. Because I feel like nobody uses that. So, I might have to switch out wall meat. I don't know. We'll see. Emotes are such a big decision. It's very stressful. You know, you gotta make sure you make the right decision. <laughs> meat is not an expression. Well, when I'm playing Castlevania, I was like, oh, because, you know, if you find wall meat, everyone can go wall meat and put wall meat in the chat. I like it. I love that emote. I don't know. We'll see. Or I might get rid of the one where it's just my face. I don't know. Bring back the my freaking ears emote. I really do like that emote. I should get a high emote or good game. Yeah, I want, like, a reaction emote that people could actually use. So I'm trying to decide on what to get. Hexergrex says, wall meat is in my top emotes I use all the time in other streams. Alright, so maybe wall meat will stay. No one's mentioned Paul Newman. I think it's Paul Newman's birthday. I think I randomly saw that on Instagram. Oh, that's awesome, MJ. Thank you. Oh, yesterday was Paul Newman's birthday. I'm a day late. Happy birthday, Paul Newman. So when I first started streaming, for some reason... Paul Newman became a thing, so I was talking about the salad dressing. So now he's like a entity that watches over Aaron plays, and it makes no sense. And it confuses people, which is fitting for what I do. Am I thinking about new channel points for Roars? Um, I don't know. I kind of like what Mike does with the, like, prediction things like I think that's fun I'm not entirely sure how it works where like people can gamble points I think that's kind of fun but other than that I don't know because especially if I'm like playing a game I don't want to do the stuff that's like too disruptive I don't know like if I only did just chatting I'd probably do more crazy point stuff but I don't know I gotta think about it I know that's a boring answer but Oh yeah, I was watching you guys, I think, I, I watched like the playback of, um, you guys gambling for, during his F-Zero stream. <laughs> I get it, Hex. Wow, people don't like the aerial emote? I thought a lot of people like the aerial emote. <sighs> I don't know. I think there's a way for me to find out which emotes are the most used. I don't know. Anyway. Alright, so what else should I show you? Um... Speaking of Sailor Moon games, so like I did say, I'm not really a collector, but I am trying to get every single Sailor Moon game. This is probably, actually, this is probably one of my rarest games. Somebody was asking me about my rarest games. Here we go. 
Sailor Moon La Luna Splende. This was, I believe, only released in Italy. It's a Sailor Moon DS game that came out in like 2007, was it? No, 2011. Which I felt was like a random time period for a Sailor Moon game to be released. Because I feel like it's, it's a little late. Like now, you know, uh, it got redubbed a few years ago. Um, you know, there's Sailor Moon Crystal. Like, I feel like now there's like a 25th, it's like the 25th anniversary of Sailor Moon North America. That being said, this only came out in Italy, but you know what I mean. Like, I feel like now it would make more sense for a Sailor Moon game. It's either the 90s or like, but 2011. Anyway, so this is a side scroller. It's so terrible. I would be so happy for a decent Sailor Moon side scroller, and it's not good. You can play as all the Sailor Scouts, and you jump over bugs and collect diamonds. It's fucking terrible. It's depressing. And it's in Italian. So there's like a lot of like story parts, and I have no idea what it means, but it sucks. But whatever, I needed it for my Sailor Moon collection. <laughs> Yeah, the case is thicker than normal DS games. I believe it is. Yeah. Ugh. So, like, this is, like, you know, a North American cart, and this is the one for, um, from Italy. See? It's a lot thicker. It's, like, the size of two. I don't know why. If anybody knows, like, are the other, are the other region DS games, like, thicker? I've never seen one that thick. That's what she said. That's what he said. Thank you. Oh, you brought me another. <laughs> you brought me my Odyssey. Magnavox. This, is a, this isn't like the Odyssey. This is the Odyssey 500. This is another Pong console. I had one that was red. It was beautiful, but it didn't work. Which sucks. But um, this one does work. This is another one that was very hard to get back in the box. I don't want to take it out. But this one's in great condition. Um, I haven't tried it out yet though, but I'm pretty sure it works. It has all the parts to it. And it's just, it's simple. This one just has Smash, Hockey, Tennis, and Soccer. But like I said, I don't even, I haven't even played all my Pong consoles yet. That's how bad it is. I don't, I don't, I have a problem. I know I'm a problem. The features auto-serve? Yeah, you can automatically serve. Who wouldn't want that? What are my thoughts on Tuxedo Mask as an adult? I like him more as an adult. Maybe it's just because the Viz dub is, in my opinion, better than the original dub we got in the 90s. Because it's more true to, like, the actual anime. Like, the original. But I think he's pretty funny. And I think he, he like, helps, he gives Sailor Moon encouragement. Because when I was a kid, I was just like, he doesn't do anything. Like, he's cool, but, like, he doesn't do anything, but as a result, I like him more. I've always liked him, though, but I thought he was, like, more useless. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> now, okay, this is more... This was one of the last ones I bought, like, in 2019. This is the Telstar. The Alpha. I'm sorry, the Alpha Telstar. From Coleco. So there was a bunch of Coleco Telstar Pong consoles. This one is one of the more basic ones. They do get a little crazier. Like, you know, the one with, like, the gun and the steering wheel and all that. This one is just kind of the same. It's tennis, hockey, handball, and Jai Ally. I always forget what that is. Somebody told me on stream what it is, or on a video or something. But yeah. More Pong console goodness. And see if you can see a preview of all the games you can play. Hi, Eli. Thank you, Mike. Yeah, I don't know what that is, but... We need Tuxedo Mike? I think we do, too. See, I feel like... See, it's like, I'd be like, oh, I want to dress up like Sailor Moon, but I feel like I wouldn't make a good Sailor Moon. I feel like I'd make a better Jupiter. Venus is my favorite. Venus and Moon are my favorite, but... I feel like I'd make a better Jupiter. <laughs> it's a Koopa, not a turtle. Re. <laughs> oh my god, what did I say once? 
Oh, I think I called Boom Boom Bowser on accident in a video. Because, you know, when you're just playing something, you're not thinking. Like, I don't know. I, I mean, I'm sure there's some people that don't have this problem because they're, like, super talented and amazing. But if I'm playing a game and talking at the same time, sometimes I, like, you know, I misspeak. Or, like, I say something wrong because I'm, like, focusing on the game. And I, I shouldn't have, I left it in without thinking. I was like, oh my god. I did that with, um, I was talking about, what was I doing? There was a plane. Um, what was I talking about? It was, I forget what video it was in. Oh, I said Galaga instead of Gradius. And I like, I edited it, I didn't catch it, and then when I put it out, I was like, oh, no. <laughs> so. Oh, thank you, Hex. They're coming for you, Aaron. The game police is coming for me. Because I said Skater Die sucks, so now I'm getting taken away. Tony the Tiger emote. I think Mike used to have a Tony the Tiger emote. I think he had like all the cereal people. <laughs> That's funny magic, Ninja. Sega Jason says, what's up by the way? Um, I have a hard time talking and playing games unless I'm really comfortable with the game. Yeah. Like, sometimes I'm better at multitasking than other times, but sometimes it's just like... Like, if I'm talking too much, then I keep dying in the game and vice versa, you know? Sugar Smacks guy versus Frogger. Hmm. Did you see Mike stream Frogger earlier? Oh my goodness. So this is just some... This was an impulse buy. I like how Mike just keeps giving me things. He's nice. <laughs> just, okay, so we bought this. This is a Atari Game Center. It just holds your Atari games. That's all it is. As you can see here. And I just thought it was really cool because it's like in the box and it smells like the early 80s or what I imagine them to smell like and it's just cool. And it has that wood, that fake wood paneling which I fucking love and I just had to own it. I think it's really cool. Speaking of Frogger, why, oh don't, you, why don't you show me your Frogger? We got we got the original Frogger Coleco tabletop. Do you, you remember know? where you got that? I don't remember where I got this. Yeah. Where did we get it? Uh, was this I eBay? I think it was eBay. Uh, it was probably, uh, okay. I don't remember. We had this a while now, actually. Yeah. Anyway, Frogger. See, I like him here because he has his little like briefcase and his tie like he's going to work. <laughs> Remember for a while I would draw stuff and everyone would have a briefcase? You like a briefcase. I do, and hats. He doesn't have a hat though. <laughs> I sound crazy. You should redraw it. Your drawings are better. I'll redraw it, Frogger. Thank you, Mike. Oh, and here, so this is newer. So this is the Rainbow Bright Journey to Rainbowland Coleco Tabletop. This was released, was it 2019 I think? Um, this was a Kickstarter. I freaked out because I loved Rainbow Bright growing up. Rainbow Bright was popular before I was born, but I used to go to a lot of thrift stores and garage sales with my uh, grandma when I was younger, so I got into retro stuff that way. Anyway, I loved Rainbow Bright, so we'd always buy anything Rainbow Bright we'd see at like garage sales. So, when I heard they were making a game, I got super excited. And it's a cute little, like, top-down RPG type game. I did do a video on this on my Aaron Plays channel, but it's just so cute. Is there still battery? Wait. Oh, it's still charged. I forget how this charges, but... Look at the bezel with the little... little star sprites. It's so cute. Oh my goodness, is that... what's that? Oh, this is my Sears one! So I got this, <laughs> okay, because I love Sears Telegames, I don't know why, I just like that brand. So Sears Telegames existed, so it's like if you wanted to buy Atari at Sears, it would be called Telegames. Same thing, I, I believe I read it was even in the, it was made in the same factory, they just slapped a different label on it. So here's the Sears Telegames version. It has games in it. 
the telegame center. So this one, I had to get because it's telegames. And this we actually do keep games in, but so they're a little different. Thank you, Sega Jason. Is that real wood paneling? No, it's not. But it looks it looks pretty good, doesn't it? I think so, with a nice little gold trim. It's classy. See, like, okay, my parents always would watch, like, those HGTV shows where they're, like, they go in and they're like, oh, we want an open floor plan and granite countertops. And then if they see wood paneling, they, like, hate it. If I, see, I like wood paneling. I would love to have a room with wood paneling. I would love it. <laughs> I need a cat emote. I need, you guys want me to have a lot of emotes. I wish I could have more emotes, but I hit as many emotes I can have as an affiliate, so I need to apply for partnering so then I can get more. Any chance there'll be more Air and Plays merch in the future? I don't know. Like, I didn't, I don't feel like I, I should have a lot of merch because it's like, I don't want to overkill it because it's like not, you know, like some people buy it, which is awesome, so thank you, but it's like, I, I feel like it's, I don't know, maybe. If there, if I can think of something cool, then maybe. <sighs> Would I buy a car with wood paneling on it? I really want like a, like a Trans Am from the 80s. Um, when I think of wood paneling on cars, I think of like minivans. So maybe no. No. But wood paneling on other stuff? Yeah. <laughs> They'd often abandon the amazing artwork on telegame stuff, not a fan of that. That's true. The artwork was different, that's right. Thank you, God Scrab. Oh, that's... I wonder if that would work in Breakable. I don't know if I can upload more, though. Maybe. Wood panel with a Cobra Kai decal? <laughs> I freaking love that um, series. I didn't think I would like it that much. Freaking, I love it. It's so good. I need a French bulldog joining in on my streams. Or some kind of pet, like Pewds sometimes has. Oh, back at my parents' house, sometimes, like, a dog would join. But, yeah. Sometimes, sometimes our cat joins. He likes to sleep, though. If Mike and I are streaming, he likes to sleep. I should have an emote of Mike. Mike emote. Can you humor me with something of mine? Yes. What do you want to show, Mike? Show it to me. Oh first. my god. And then try it. So this is from Mike's Pac-Man collection. As you guys probably know, if you like his stuff, he has a Pac-Man collection. He loves Pac-Man. Look at this. It's a ping pong ball. Is that what it's called? Paddle ball. Paddle. Yeah. I don't want to break it. It's, it's so delicate. hard. Don't, I don't, just don't worry about it. Just try it. Should I try it? Yeah, it's hard to do. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is what I'm doing on my stream tonight. Erin can't sit, so she's playing paddle ball. <laughs> Next, I'll play ball in a cup. But anyway, Pac-Man paddle, Namco. I remember at Aladdin's Castle. I don't know if, did you remember, remember these from the arcades in the 90s? No. I remember going to Aladdin's Castle with my dad and there'd be a, um, a claw machine full of a bunch of, like, balls that were, like, soft and they'd have this exact logo on it. Give us one more. Try one more. Okay. See, I'm seeing you do it over here. It's probably off camera. <laughs> Maybe that's the best thing to do. It only hit in my face. <laughs> Show them this. Now you got it. <laughs> I like how you just keep handing me stuff. A Detective Pikachu water bottle. Okay, I'm a, I'm a casual Pokemon fan, but I really like Detective Pikachu, and I got this at 7 Eleven. It's a Slurpee cup. And then there's a little um, Psyduck attachment for the straw, but it's like you can't really use it. Like, it's just for decoration. But anyway, remember Detective Pikachu? Remember movies? Thank you so much, Bauer fan 212 for subscribing for seven months. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. How do you not destroy everything with that? Oh, the paddle ball? Yeah. I would probably cause some serious damage. What are these movies you speak of? What was the last movie you guys saw? 
in theaters. I think the last one I saw was Birds of Prey, and I actually really liked that movie. I could never get through Suicide Squad. I think I got like 10 minutes in and I had to turn it off, but Birds of Prey I really liked. Sonic was the last one you saw, Jose. A lot of people that was the last one was Sonic. Anyway, so I'm probably gonna wrap this up soon because I don't wanna like push it with standing too long. So just to recap, I fell. I can't really sit normally because I hurt myself, so that's why we're doing the standing stream. So I'm trying not to push it with the standing. Anyway, one last thing to show. So, Ann America. This was a magazine that was popular when I was growing up. Um, I never got super into anime, but I really liked Sailor Moon. Like, it's kind of weird I didn't get into other anime, but anyway. I was really into drawing growing up also. And my favorite part of Ann America was the fan art section in the back. And I pretty much would just, like, I would always, like, I'd go to Borders. Remember Borders? with my mom and I'd be like, oh my god, is there a new Ann America? Because I like to look through the drawings. And then like, I just use some of the pictures for reference, but like, it's just funny. Like, there's Sailor Moon as Wonder Woman. Just like, weird shit. But yeah, I don't, I don't know how long they made this, but... People would just send in their drawings and I, I used to have so much fun looking through it when I was a kid. But then I would use stuff like this for reference when drawing because Sailor Moon stuff wasn't that easy to find in the 90s. Now it's everywhere. But. I don't know. So I bought this off eBay not too long ago because I don't know where. I'm pretty sure I still have some of my Ann Americas I just, at my parents' house. I just don't know where. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy some. Borders at one point sold PlayStation games? Really? I don't remember them selling video games. I guess that would have been in their... They had that, like, music and, like, movie area, so I guess it would have been in there. No, Sega Jason. Circuit City? I remember Circuit City. I didn't really go there growing up, but there was one in my area. And I remember I went when it closed. And I got some, like, uh, Wii accessories or something. I think it was a Wii accessory. <laughs> okay, Magic Ninja, I'll look it up. <laughs> New Wave Junkie's like, I love Circuit City. <laughs> I just, I've never read, like, the sentence, I love Circuit City. Rip. Thank you, Respergoo. Am I selling something? No, I'm not selling anything. Strawberries? Oh, that was a record store, right? Fortnite is a dead game. Okay. I've only played Fortnite a few times, but I had fun with it. <laughs> Sell us your chair? No, it was my chair. What's my favorite color? Hot pink. Not pale pink, but like bright hot pink. Like neon pink. This stream going 20 more minutes? Okay, I'll try to go 20 more minutes and then I gotta stop because I don't want to push it. If Mike is still in the chat and wants to bring me like a bubbly beverage, that would be great because my throat's going from talking so much. <laughs> you met Ozzy at Strawberries? See, I had Tower Records. I, I grew up going to Tower Records and the warehouse. The Tower Records was like, that was great. Nobody probably remembers who they are. Maybe if you're a girl you'll remember, but there was this like boy band in like 2000 called BB Mac and I met them at Tower Records. <laughs> hey, Totem Lord. Yeah, Sam Goody was great. I remember Sam Goody was expensive. I bought a Britney Spears blow up chair at Sam Goody. How many games do I have, more or less? I have no idea the number. I didn't like 98 Degrees. I was an NSYNC person. If I had to pick a team, I was very into NSYNC. Um, I definitely, if out of all the genres, I think I have, uh, I mean, systems, I think I have the most games for NES. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. 
Oh, my babies. Okay. So last, one of the last things to show, then we'll get back to games. No, not a Britney blow-up doll. It was a blow-up chair. Show this? Oh, I'll show that next. Just, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Thanks. So, these are from when I was little, and I still have them. And what's amazing is Kimberly still has her gun. So, I was obsessed with the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers when I was in kindergarten. And I still have my Kimberly and Trini. And they're with me always. But yeah, they're in like a display case with some like of my Sailor Moon figures, but I got these guys, so Mike thought I should show them, so I'm showing this. This is like now just a show and tell stream. It's not even a game stream at this point, but that's okay. Uh, Kimberly's getting a little yellow from the sun, but I mean, I don't even want to think how old she is. She's almost like 30. When did that come out? No, not 30. Like 28 years? I don't I don't want to think about it. Anyway, thank you so much, Nintendo fan, for subscribing at tier two. Thank you so much. For 25 months. Show and tell stream, my kind of stream. Yeah, we're just going through stuff. So this was really cool. Um ooh, I'm eating my hair. <laughs> this was gifted to me by Retrobit. This is a little it's from Pixel Frames as a company. It's a little Castlevania shadow box thing. And I just thought it was so cool. I, I want it hanging up here, but um, I like I put it up and the hook was just one of these sticky hooks and it fell. So I need to like put it on like a nicer thing. But these are really cool. They also have one for Streets of Rage that I almost bought. And um, what else do they have them for? I don't remember, but they have like a lot of choices. But I freaked out. I had to get Castlevania. They were like, do you want one? I'm like, can I have a Castlevania one? Because look how pretty it is. I like it. And he's fighting death. One of the worst bosses, in my opinion. That's cool, Sergio. Yeah, Tower Records, I think, closed in in the States in like 2006, 2007, but it's still in Japan, so there's still a Tower Records alive in Japan. It doesn't light up, no. Yes, we live together, Seabok. That was Double Dragon, I think. Yeah, it was Double Dragon. And now it's Dragon Spirit. Another good game. I like Dragon Spirit. I suck at it, but it's really fun. A little shmup. Thank you, King of Games, for subscribing for 17 months. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is the one I was talking about. Thank you. So this is probably my favorite Pong console. It's because it's the first one I ever bought. My first one. And it works. And it's in good condition. It's the Sears Telegames Pinball Breakaway. You would just have different ways to play pinball. Well, you have paddle ball. It's all pinball and breakaway. But then there's a basketball game, which is, like, really difficult. I did a video on this. You can just look up Aaron Plays Sears Telegames. Thank you, King of Games. I don't know if I said that in my head or out loud, but thank you so much for subscribing for 17 whole months. You're so good at helping me, because I don't know what to show people. Oh my god, I got food on him! Oh, I'm disgusting. Anyway, this is my cockademon. He's so cute, because I think cockademons are really cute. I really want an Arachnatron plush, but they don't make a lot of Arachnatron stuff. It's fucked up. I want an Arachnatron figure, at least. But anyway, he's so soft, it's like, you can use him as a pillow, kind of. He's like... He's so squishy. He just wants- he just wants a friend. But anyway, yeah, I want- a, there's no Arachnatron merch. But yeah, he's my little demon friend, and he's very nice. He's a nice one. He likes to eat waffles and hoagies. He looks about the size of your plush Kirby. Yeah, see, they can be friends. Does he have ear holes? He doesn't. But he, he just knows what we're saying, because he's magical. 
arch file is the most cuddly. I remember you playing Doom 64 and feeling dizzy. Yeah, Doom 64 made me really sick. I think that, because I've gotten dizzy from games before, especially games like, like that. Like, uh, like the old Doom games and stuff like that. Monster Manor on 3DO, I think, was one that made me really sick, but Doom 64, that was, I was, like, nauseous and I had a headache for, like, a while after that stream. That game fucked me up, and it sucks because I was having fun, but I hate that I get dizzy playing games like that. Because I enjoy them, but it's like, I just, I can't play them for long. Uh, Mario Galaxy gets you dizzy? Yeah. Mario Galaxy gets a lot of people dizzy. It got me a little dizzy, too. That's why I never really finished it. Thank you. Oh, this is cool. I got this at an expo. This is a Miss Pac-Man, um, like, TV dinner tray. Look how good condition it is. I have a strawberry shortcake one somewhere, and it's, like, kind of fucked up. And I think I got Mike the Masters of the Universe one, but... This one's in, like, really good condition. Look at that. It's so cool. Miss Pac-Man, she's such a little baddie, as the, as the kids say. Thank you so much, Mighty, Mighty Pirate One, for subscribing, by the way. Thank you. I'm glad you're liking the stream. At least I hope you are if you subscribe. See, I just, I don't know what to say sometimes. <laughs> You want me to show off burger buttons? Oh, I have burger buttons. Ugh, let me see if I can reach it. There we go. Woo! No! There we go. I thought I dented the Miss Pac-Man tray, but everything's fine. Everything's totally fine. So, this is a McDonald's, like, it's like a Tiger Hunt handheld, but not. It's for, like, children. <laughs> for learning. Um... I haven't taken it out of the box, but I just like it because look at the buttons. Burger buttons! Isn't it adorable? Sega Jason actually is the one that told me about this and I bought it when he told me about it. This was a while ago. Like, four years ago? Three years ago? Anyway, it's alphabet fun with Ronald McDonald. I like, I like collecting old McDonald's memorabilia. It's not really like, like sometimes if you say like McDonald's memorabilia, people think it's like, oh, you just eat there all the time. It's like, no, it's not like about the food. It's just about like, I don't know. McDonald's used to just be like a fun place to go as a kid. And like, I always liked the like McDonald's land characters. So sometimes I collect stuff like this and I saw this and I'm like, I have to own it. So thank you, Sega Jason, for telling me about this. Oh my god. Okay, this is the last thing. Well, that you can bring up. Alright, and this is my Odyssey 2. Look how good condition this is. I mean, the box is a little fucked up, but overall, pretty good condition. I did a video all about the Odyssey 2, if you want to check that out. Look how awesome this box is. The boxes used to be so cool. Everything is so boring now. Look how badass this is. You can do multiplication and play sports games and all kinds of shit just shooting out at you. It's awesome. Okay, what's up? What else? Oh, here it is. The infamous power pad. Almost as infamous as the shorts I wore in that video. <laughs> so yeah, we got the power pad in the box. I love the NES, like, era box art because everything was like the stars, like that blue to black gradient. It's just so badass. Look how much fun this family is having. They're having a good time. I probably should have wore socks. I fucked up by not wearing socks. I should wear socks like this kid right here. But whatever. I like that video. That video was like so hard to make. Sailor Moon socks. I do have Sailor Moon socks. Did you have that much fun when playing it? Some of the games I really liked, like I like Short Order, I think is really fun. But some of them just kicked my ass because I have like really bad asthma. And they're like physically taxing. Maybe I'm in better shape now, I don't know, but like... 
I had like, there were a few times I thought I was gonna puke because I was so much running and jumping. I was like, I'm gonna be sick. So I had to, I had to take a lot of breaks. I need the rocker. I need to play the rolling rocker. And the U Force. <laughs> What's my favorite console? Um, probably. My hands are a little dusty. Um, probably the NES. That is a lot of. That is probably my favorite games on it. Up until I was like 27, I was like, oh, the Super Nintendo is my favorite. Because that's what was my favorite growing up. But. I don't know, as I got older and like the more games I discovered for NES, I'm like, eh, I think NES is my favorite. The Vectrex is also one of my favorites, but for like other reasons. Thank you so much, Kremit Frog, for gifting a sub to Andy Mobile 50 Thank you very much. I appreciate that, Kremit. Do I have the Power Glove? I do. Here's the Japanese version of the Power Pad, the Family Trainer. Look how cute this is. See, the packaging is like more sleek. I like the font. I'm like, I like the font better. Who has a larger collection? Me or Mike? Mike, definitely, but I don't know. I, I like my little collection. I haven't gone through everything, obviously. But... I'm good, Jonathan. How are you? To another Power Pad video. Um, I wanted do one kind of like it with a different thing, but it's essentially another power pad. So I'll, eventually I'll do it. Have I played Flintstones on Genesis? I want to say the one I played was on Super Nintendo. I don't know if I played the Genesis one. I, I mean, maybe I'm thinking the Genesis one, but the one I'm thinking of, I'm pretty sure was Super Nintendo. My power glove is in the box and it's like up kind of in a hard place to get right now. I'm sorry. I think I show it in the video I do where I try to beat Castlevania bosses with it, so if a mod's in here who wants to link that, um, you can check that out. We met on the internet! The internet's amazing. Power Pad Live? No, because you guys would just watch me have an asthma attack and like probably throw up. It would be awful. I mean, I probably... Maybe I get viewers, probably for the wrong reasons, but I don't know. If I ever feel like having an asthma attack on camera, I could do it. How's Longhorn's juice? Yeah, I got a Foghorn Langhorn cup because <laughs> because Mike Matei lives here. Hobby Man Mike Gaming, thank you so much for subscribing for seven whole months. Thank you so much for sticking with me. I felt bad. He, ha he also has like a Porky the Pig cup and I accidentally broke it the other day. <laughs> but these are like so common. Like you see these in antique stores a lot, along with the Care Bear glasses. These are, I feel like, are more common. I like those Care Bear glasses. At my parents' house we have like all of them. Because they were like all over antique stores and like garage sales in the 90s. Hey Grave. But yeah, um, let me see if there's anything else. I mean, I'll probably do another one of the, these because, like, tomorrow or the next day, I don't know if I'll be able to sit then either. So if you're just coming in, it's just, I hurt myself, so I can't really sit normally, so that's why I'm standing up. Um, but, let me see. I will do, I'll probably do another one. But if there's anything I can just show real quick. Here we go. Because you mentioned the glass. Show them, show them this. Oh, That's this your is... person. That's my favorite glass. This is Mike's favorite glass. This isn't a display case. We don't use this one. It's a Pepsi vintage Donald Duck, Huey, Dewey, and Louie, and Daisy glass. Look at Daisy. Isn't she cute? And Tom Donald's getting hit with the pie. <laughs> anyway, so... <laughs> What's this? <laughs> Oh, he has a Scrooge McDuck glass. He's just like wants me to show things for him. And then it's filled with like, uh, little figurines, but. <laughs> anyway, so I was gonna show you. So Yoshi's Island is one of my favorite games of all time. 
and I'm surprised I didn't buy this earlier, er, like, years ago. But anyway, Super Famicom version in the box of Yoshi's Island. Um, I still have my copy, like, I, it still works, the one that I had since I was a kid, the Super Nintendo one. But I sadly threw away the box, like a lot of kids did back then. But at least I have the box for the Famicom one. And the first ever Super Famicom game I bought as a kid was Sailor Moon S. I had my um, Super Nintendo modded so I could play Famicom games, just so I could play this. Because I was obsessed with Sailor Moon, and I wanted to play it, so I'd go to the used game store, and they had all these, like, they had, like, a big Super Famicom section. I was like, oh my god, Sailor Moon, so... This right here is why, and I kept the box because I knew it was special, and I'm so glad I did. Sorry, I'm like running out of breath. Thank you, SNES girl, for subscribing for 15 months. Thank you. I hope you've been okay. I haven't seen you around for a while. It's S season four. Uh, no, that's season three. Oh, that's okay, Dimovol. Did you get a gift sub? I think you did. <clears throat> but thanks for watching. But yeah, now we're listening to Ghostbusters 2. Ghostbusters 2, wait, is this the good one? I think it is. The first Ghostbusters game, I really don't like. I beat the whole thing because I'm crazy, but I did a video on it. But the second NES game... I think it's a sec it's just called Ghostbusters 2. It's like pretty good. The hell version. What is it called? Oh, new Ghostbusters 2. I'm sorry. So new Ghostbusters 2 is the good one. It's a lot better. It's more fun. It gets hard though. In my opinion, it gets really hard. So I've never gotten that far in it, but I do like that game. You miss restaurants giving out glassware? I would like to take home as a souvenir. Can I do an impression of the intro when they say Ghostbusters? Like, Ghostbusters! I can't do it. <laughs> it was just Europe? Oh, okay, that's right. I remember when you could buy Disney glasses at McDonald's the other day I saw- I totally forgot about these. I think it was- it was Burger King, but they had, like, Pocahontas glasses, and I'm like, oh my god, I had so many of those in our house, like... <laughs> those were awesome, and the, and the Hercules plates from McDonald's. Those were cool. Did I show any Castlevania games? Um, I was actually gonna show... Oh, I do have All Real Monsters! I forgot, I got it in the box. So yeah, I do have All Real Monsters. Somebody asked for that and I couldn't find it. I thought I had it. Yeah. Um, but for Castlevania... I do have Castlevania 64. I keep forgetting that I have it. I will try it. We'll do a Castlevania 64 stream. Honestly, I don't know how far we'll get in it because I've heard a lot of bad things, but I had to see it for myself. This wasn't that expensive, so I picked it up, and yeah, we will we will do Castlevania 64. Um, I might um, go back to Dracula's Curse, maybe, and try to beat it again because we got pretty close, but I don't know. We'll see. I really want to play uh, Bloodlines again, though. That game was really cool. I've been wanting to stream that again. But I gotta, I gotta mix in other stuff. I can't only stream Castlevania. Even though it's very easy to want to do that. I don't like Dracula X, though, no. My favorite Aaron impression is Daria's sister's friend when she says Quinn. Oh, my Sandy impression? I don't know if I can do it. Queen. I, I don't know. <laughs> I can't do it right now. I'm out of breath. I love Daria, though. I like Sandy. She's such a bitch. Um, so you want my thoughts on Castlevania games? Um, I don't think I have the first one up here, but let's see. So this is the first one I bought. So I thought this was Dracula's Curse when I bought it. It's obviously not. This is Simon's Quest. So I got home and I put it in and I was like, oh, I made a mistake. But I finally, recently, played through Simon's Quest with the help of the chat, thanks, and this was pretty fun. I liked it. It's very cryptic and I probably wouldn't have been able to do it if I didn't have the chat or if like I didn't use a guide or something, but it was fun. So I finally played it years later. 
Um, Dracula's Curse, my copy has like writing all over it, but this is the way I first beat it was on this cartridge and everything, and I'm nostalgic for this cartridge. I'm like, I get too sentimental, but anyway, I like it. It's okay that I was writing on it. <laughs> uh, Castlevania 4, where are you? Some of my stuff is on this place. Oh, thank you. Okay, so this is Mike's. This is Dracula X. I love Rondo of Blood. Dracula X, I do not enjoy. I think it. I think the gameplay sucks. But I like Rondo of Blood. Like, just play Rondo of Blood. And here's Mike's Rondo of Blood. One of my favorite games ever. It's so good. Plays. You got Richter. You got Maria. It's okay. I like it. This was really fun. I kind of want to replay it again. The intro is like so badass. It's a little, like. It reminds me of like that late 80s, early anime style. It's just fucking awesome. So yeah. I, I love Castlevania. <sighs> yeah, it says Bullard on it, so I guess that was the guy's name that had it before me. I got it at a used. Oh, I got I got it on eBay or at a used store, I don't remember. It was a while ago. Thanks for hanging out, Joshua. Have I been practicing Contra Hard Corps? I practiced it a little bit. Um, I've actually, I've been practicing Double Dragon 2, Double Dragon 2 a little bit with Mike, but, um, yeah, I tried a little bit of Contra Hardcore. I gotta, I gotta be in the right headspace for that game. It's, like, so fast-paced, but it's, like, once you get a hang of it, it's, like, it's doable, it's just, I need more time with it. I don't know, I, I won't necessarily remove the mall meat. Oh my goodness. He's back with more Castlevania games. I forget. Yeah, so we briefly messed around with Curse of Darkness. As kind of myth, I think Mike liked it a little more than I did. And then uh, Lords of Shadow, I was playing off stream a little. Meh. It wasn't bad. I like my linear Castlevania games best, honestly. Thank you so much, Brimhatter. But yeah, so I like how Mike just hands me stuff. Yeah, so we just we share stuff, obviously. It's like, why wouldn't we? <clears throat> we both, you know, do the same thing. Hey, Arknoid Addict. I like your name. Contra and coffee. Biscuits. Oh yeah, Contra and coffee. I should bring that back. Contra kills my hands when my carpal tunnel's acting up. It sucks. Because I love Contra and I love Super C. Biscuits and Bomberman. T and T M N T. Just throwing some additional ideas out there. Those are very good um, ideas, <laughs> Cyborg. Biscuits and Bomberman. That's cute. Thank you. Oh, Mike brought some more stuff from his collection. So this is Frostbite. I did a video on Frostbite. This is a really fun uh, Atari 2600 game. I don't know what to say about it really. You gotta like make it across little pieces of ice. So it's kind of like Frogger in certain ways, but not. And then you gotta like make your igloo in time so like you don't die. <laughs> and then here's Chase the Chuck Wagon. See, Mike knows more about Atari than I do. I believe this one's pretty rare. But look at that label. It's like kind of shiny. I don't know if it'll focus. But yeah. I, I wish companies would do more promotional tie-in games. This is for Purina, right? Yeah, Purina. Purina dog food. It's like, I feel like the last promotional tie-in we got was the Burger King games for 360. Sneak King is actually a really fun game, though, by the way. You should play that if you haven't. But, um, I mean, I know there's, like, the KFC PlayStation or whatever the fuck, but, like, for just games, I feel like nobody does that anymore. The Contra soundtrack's available on vinyl? Oh, that's cool. Activision made the best 2600 games easy. 
I like the little Activision patches they would send. McDonald's Treasure Land? I've played that. It's fun. Yes, the eye magic. Somebody said it's pronounced in magic. I always said eye magic, but yes, the eye magic. Atari 2600 and television boxes are so pretty. Do I have. Hold on, let me grab one. I think it's in my closet. Television games are beat up, but I have Microsurgeon I put, like, in a nice little case because it's, like, this one's in decent condition. I think I- oh yeah, I opened it in the video I did on this. I like this game. This game's weird. It's cool. It's very unique. But yeah, like, look how pretty. They're so shiny and colorful. Again, packaging used to be so much better. Everything is so boring and streamlined now. It sucks. Uh, NES. Sega Jason. It looks like a Tool album cover. <laughs> Everything was chrome back in the 70s or 80s. Everything was just, it was just better. Now it's like, I saw this thing recently where like people were complaining how like now logos are getting so simplified there's like no soul left in them. Like the Petco logo. Like you know how you used to have the little cat and the dog and now it's just like this really boring Petco and it's like... There's a version of Double Dragon 2 on PC Engine? Oh, I didn't know that. I'll have to look that up. <sighs> Alright guys, well I think I'm gonna have to call it a day here. I don't want to push myself too hard, but um, anyway, this was really fun. I'm glad this worked out, because I don't do that many just chatting streams. But I'll probably do another one really soon, because... yeah. So, anyway, thank you so much for hanging out. I missed you guys. Thanks for coming to the stream. And I'll be back again sooner than later. <laughs> Alright, have a good night. Bye. Or a good day, because it's early, because this is a crazy stream. Alright, where's the end stream? There it is. Alright, bye. <laughs>